Hello friends, uh, uh, welcome to all of you. Today I am came here with the different agenda uh, that uh, how to simulate the different circuits with the use of power simulator software. Uh, today we will see how to simulate the three resistors that are connected in series and how to find out the uh, voltage and current waveform across the each resistors in uh, power simulation software. So you can see the, uh, here that uh, our circuit will be like this. The three resistances that are R1, R2 and R3 having a uh, resistance of 1 kilo ohm, 2 kilo ohm and 3 kilo ohm respectively are connected in series. There is one voltmeter here VR1 which is connected across this resistance R1. That uh, second one uh, voltmeter VR2 which are connected here across the resistor R2 and the third voltmeter VR3 which are connected across the resistance R3. Mind that all three voltmeter must be connected across or uh, connected in parallel with the resistance. Don't connect in series with the resistance because voltmeter are always connected in parallel with the resistance like this. And uh, in order to find out the waveform of the current we will uh, use one emitter over here which are connected in which is connected in series with the circuit you can see here the supply voltage is uh, given 230 volt ac we will apply over here and uh, we will fix the frequency of 50 hertz so we will see uh, how to simulate this simulation or how to simulate this circuit with the use of power simulator but uh, uh, before that uh, I want to tell you one thing that uh, you have to orally find out this, uh, uh, the result of this given circuit that means if three resistance are connected in uh, series then what will be the equal resistance and what uh, should be the value of the current here and what should be the value of voltage across the each resistance that is VR1, VR2 and VR3 and that you can easily find out with the use of Ohm's law and the voltage uh, divided rule. Uh, so uh, let us uh, move forward to the simulation. So first of all uh, uh, install that PSIM or power simulator software with the different uh, resources. Uh, so I have installed that power simulator over here. So first of all uh, open that power simulator software then uh, go to file create a new file like this and uh, make a circuit uh, which is shown over here uh, so for that take one three different resistances like this R1 uh, this is R2 and this one is R3 give them name R1, R2 and R3 and uh, 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 by clicking the uh, that uh, uh, by clicking the right click uh, you can enter the value of different uh, resistance R1 that is uh, 1 kilo ohm R2 that is 2 kilo ohm and R3 that is 3 kilo ohm so uh, uh, enter the value of resistance over here and uh, its value R1 R2 and R3 display by, by clicking over here you can display the name so uh, do this thing for the all the all of these three resistances so you can see he, uh, here that uh, I have given the name R1, R2 and R3 and uh, I have uh, entered the value of the resistance that is 1000 ohm here, 2000 ohm over here and uh, 3000 of ohm over here and I have a check mark over here to display the name and its value. Now take one AC source uh, from the property. You can also take it from its elements and uh, over here you can see that the different uh, um, tools are available. But the uh, AC source can easily available also from over here. So take AC source uh, from here. So this one is your AC source. Uh, go to the property of this source and enter the value of uh, uh, different peak amplitude and frequency of the source. So we will take over here 230 volt AC and frequency is 50 hertz. So you can see here I have entered the name that is source voltage peak amplitude 230 volt AC and frequency is 50 hertz. Now take one emitter 
uh, it is also available uh, from the this given toolbar uh, so it is over here you can see this uh, emitter is available over here so take uh, one emitter and put it over here same way take a voltmeter it is also available so from uh, this toolbar i have taken the voltmeter uh, now let us uh, put three volt um, uh, let us take three voltmeter that can measure voltage across r1 voltage across r2 and voltage across r3 from the property you can change the value of voltmeter we will uh, change it by vr1 vr2 and vr3 and emitter will give uh, us the current value of the current flowing from this circuit so uh, we will uh, consider it as a i so let us do this thing for uh, all voltmeter and emitter so uh, you can see here now i have changed the uh, properties and uh, uh, changed uh, i have given the name vr1 vr2 and vr3 for the voltmeter and uh, i for the emitter now connect all these elements uh, according to the given circuit over here so first of all we will connect so to, to connect it uh, you can see here the wire is given to you so by using this wire uh, you can connect all the elements I put each element in such a manner that I can connect uh, uh, as per the given circuit over here so let us connect it so I have taken the wire from here connect emitter with the resistor R1 R1 with the R2 R2 with the R3 R3 with the uh, source and from source back to the emitter now voltmeter VR1 will be connected across the register R1 so one terminal over here another terminal over here likewise VR2 will be across the register R2 so one terminal over here and another terminal will be over here and likewise R3 will be across the register R3 VR3, VR3 will be across the register R3 after connecting this circuit go to the uh, simulation and put simulation control in the given uh, sheet and write down the total time equals to your one cycle time you can also take a two, type, two cycle time or here the frequency is 50 hertz so the time for the given uh, frequency or uh, uh, for one cycle will be equals to 0 0.02 that is 150, uh, 1 divided by 50 equals to 0 0.02 so for two cycle you have to consider the 0 0.04 so 0 0.04 will gives you the two cycle now friends uh, by applying the ohm's law and uh, different voltage divided rule if you will find out this uh, the value of that uh, voltage across the different registers and the current you will have some value and uh, uh, that value we can verify use, with the use of waveform of uh, waveform of the vr1 vr2 vr3 and uh, current i so uh, you can see this is the waveform of this circuit so to get this waveform what we have to do first of all we have to go in the run simulation which is over here by click by clicking the run simulation you will have one window appear in your laptop so in this uh, screen you have a different options of vr1 vr2 and vr3 and current i so by clicking this vr1 and by adding it and by clicking ok you will have a waveform of vr1 for another waveform you have to you have to choose this add screen and now we are to that means another waveform one second we have to choose the different waveform now yeah, at this time we, we choose the vr3 and ok then after at last we choose the current i and by clicking add and by clicking ok 
we will have a uh, uh, waveform of current time. And now by clicking this zoom button and by clicking this peak wave amplitude we will have a one uh, small window appear uh, name uh, by name measure and it will show you the real amplitude or peak amplitude of this voltage vr1 vr2 and vr3 and current time so you can see here voltage across vr1 is 38.33 volt vr2 is 76.66 volt vr3 is 81.5 volt like sorry 114 volt not 11 114.99 that means 115 volt likewise the current will be equal to 0 0.38 sorry 3.83 so friends this is how we can simulate the different circuits uh, so today we saw the simulation of three resistance connected which are connected in series and how to find out the voltage and current uh, waveform across the each resistance so thank you very much for uh, being with me and uh, hopefully this uh, you like this video so thank you